Hi Cancer, welcome to your November 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. So, I, whoa, wait a second. Okay. I wanted to let you know that I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot by Jennifer Galasso. It's like, I was just thinking, like, why do I feel compelled to tell people this and announce this? Well, I'm usually using a different deck. And the other thing, too, is that, you know, people inevitably will say, oh, my God, what's that deck? So I'm just putting it out there from uh, the beginning so that we can move on and just do our things. Now, I'm going to admit something. I am like, <laughs> really, this, this deck is like, I don't know if it's doing something to me or if I'm just blaming uh, whatever's going on on this deck, but it's been kind of taking me into strange places. Well, not strange, but not my typical love reading. So for what that's worth, we'll see what happens with your reading. Oh, I definitely think that, that for some of you, you're going to have to make a choice between two different people. And there's even a situation that I think it's like you want to be with somebody who's a twin flame or a soulmate, and it's not happening. Usually I don't pick the challenge position first, but that was this card. This is the challenge position. Um, the other thing about the Six of Cups is it can be talking about childhood. I actually think this is connected to cancer. And I was just thinking about this today about cancer, about getting trapped in the past and being so sentimental about things that you don't really see things as they really are. Like maybe you even glorify the past and you're choosing to see it in this exalted way that it never was really like. That's always a, a, a problem sometimes when all of us, when we look at the past, that we are not really seeing how it was. We create this sense of nostalgia that never really existed. Or if it did exist, there's an exaggeration of the great qualities of it. But the other thing too is that I feel like s there may have been some of you who got involved in a relationship because you wanted to be taken care of financially and now you see that it is this trap. It was a trap. This is the card of feeling oppressed. Now this card also, the Eight of Swords, can speak to your own self-limiting beliefs and how they affect your reality, how they, how they uh, shape your reality. So in the past position, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is someone who is able to enjoy a comfortable life. With the Queen, you could even have a stay-at-home mother, someone who... And this would certainly apply to a lot of female cancer um, people that you want, maybe you wanted to stay home with your child and you met somebody who was going to allow you to, so you didn't have to divide your attention. And yet, it wasn't what it was cut out to be. 
And the Eight of Swords in the present position indicates a sort of oppressive environment. But the, the focus card here is the Star card. So there's some kind of a sense of renewal and healing taking place, even in the midst of maybe some negative stuff happening. So typically when I see that card in a love reading, it may mean that you have met somebody who is more of your type of person and maybe who has given you a new lease on life and given you that hope that there are relationships out there that can be positive and where there's an affinity for one another, that there's some kind of, the people are meshing. Because you may have lost that sense of feeling like you actually can find happiness within a, in a relationship. That, I, you know, so that would make me think, especially if you've been married for a long time, that you felt this sense of, wow, this person just doesn't, doesn't, uh, I don't, I don't jibe well with this person and they are actually having a negative impact possibly on, on the health or the, the positivity that you have. Never underestimate the power of another person to drag you down. If, if, um, if you are, uh, especially with a water sign, because you're very empathic and you're very impressionable and sensitive, you know, to the moods and attitudes of another person. So that may have happened, and it, and it could have been with an earth sign because we have as the higher message the Ace of Pentacles. And this is that new beginning. And with the, the Pentacles, it's a solid relationship. It's something, it's not like just kind of a fantasy relationship. It's something solid, and it could actually be with an earth sign, like a Virgo, like a Capricorn, that's your opposite sign, or a Taurus, possibly. And as I said, with the Six of Cups in the challenge position, there has to be this, um, there has to be some kind of an, uh, a way that you can make peace with your past. For some people, maybe the person that turned out to be oppressive is someone you've been with since high school, and maybe you thought that they were the one, and you realize now you've changed and you're not the same person anymore. So you may have gone along with the program. I think this is a fairly common theme for, for cancer people. And I'm going to say, especially women, but maybe that's not even fair. I'm, I'm just saying it in terms of like the, the social conditioning. And you have a woman, you have a a young woman who's a cancer and she may go along the lines of kind of um, submitting to her partner and then after a certain period of time if the relationship is going sour then it's like she realizes eventually that this person is trying to control her trying to demean her and then she breaks free from it because cancer, don't get it twisted. Yes, cancer is a feminine sign. It's a water sign, but it's a cardinal sign. So cancer people are perfectly capable of taking action when need be. But it may take them a long time because they're getting over like this kind of idea of, of um, maybe like even a fantasy of what the, the relationship was. And they're trapped in that initial impression of the relationship. Maybe at one time it was good and then things happened that made it not so much. The other thing that the Six of Cups could be saying is that your soulmate is waiting for you, but there still is some stuff that has to be cleared out. Maybe it's within you. Maybe it's the loose ends. I've been getting cards of that seem to suggest that a lot of people are having major shifts, but they also are not ready to fully embrace the change because they still have 
old business to take care of. What is coming in is represented by the Two of Pentacles. This can also be the advice. And whenever you see a two, and this is a love reading, you're talking about, uh, a lot of times you may be talking about choices that need to be made. Um, again, <laughs> it could involve a, a certain sign and, and an earth sign that you're choosing between that and that. The other thing the Two of Pentacles relates to is about jugg a juggling act. So for some people, uh, this can be having two jobs, but let's say you have already made up your mind that you're leaving a relationship and yet you don't have the funds to do it this second. You may say, well, I'm going to take two jobs, you know, like an additional job, or if you are at home, you may decide to take a uh, an outside job or maybe a job you can do working from home to be able to save money to be able to do this. So it's about doing two things at once, like kind of juggling your life. It could be that you're very busy or that you're going to be trying to make things happen for yourself during this uh, period in, in the at the end of 2017. And the outcome, Three of Pentacles. So let me see, because this, I think this is the first time I picked it for this new deck. And it's interesting that they show two people. Of course, the bird could be the third individual. But um, pentacles, of course, are related to the earth element and the also the tangible things in life. So career... Uh, this can be teamwork and career. This can be even like conceiving a child because it's number three. So like in the Major Arcana, the, the, the number three card is the Empress. And that can deal with the mother archetype because it's a creation or creative creativity. But I think that for this as the outcome card, it, it's, it's talking about a st stable... And a stable endeavor that has a future because of its stability. So again, it's got that pentacles connection. It could be an, a, a future with an earth sign individual. And that may be the kind of person that you should have been with all along. And something happened along the way that led you to be with somebody else who turned out to be more of a nightmare than someone that you could build a life with. And so the star card is kind of the, since it's the overall focus, it's really showing that you may still be involved in a, an oppressive situation, but you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're able to, because you know that even if you're prevented now from being that with that person who may be your soulmate, that it's kind of waiting in the wings for you. And all it's going to take is for you to take those next steps to make it happen. So, anyway, Cancer, I swear I don't live on a highway. You would never know that, would you? Hearing the background. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great month. Bye.